Billy could really get under people's skins. George Takei. George was on, and then Billy starts doing George, and you can't tell the difference between George and Billy. And I think it drove George crazy, too. Billy does a great George Decay voice. And when George was being played by Billy, we could actually have him say anything because Billy didn't have any problem with it. So it was a great way for us to be able to interact with that very deep voice. And I think there was always like a play on the resonance of his voice and the rumbling of his balls and all of that stuff. We had George Decay on once through a satellite hookup. He wasn't in the studio. He was coming through an ISDN line. So we had Billy in as George Decay Jr. And Billy would be talking to George in the, in the George voice. And it was just hysterical. George didn't know what to think. He was, he was all confused hearing his voice pretty much coming back at him, not being able to see what was going on. The great thing about having Billy around was I don't think there was any voice he couldn't do. So your mind could absolutely go anywhere, and he could make it possible. Howard, we have to hurry up because we need to talk to George Takei. Is he right on there now? Yeah, we can talk to him on the satellite. Oh, oh he's good. on the satellite. George Takei is a... Uh... It's Takai, by no, the way. No, it's Takai. Is it? Rhymes with okay. He'll explain you to you how it Takei. works. Yeah, that's all right. I, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> where is, where, how do I get him? Hello? Uh, hello. Ah, George, my old hello. friend. Hello, how are you, Howard? Can you hear me okay? I hear you fine. I've been listening in on you uh, all this time with all the buzz and beeps and squeaks. Uh, what are you doing there? Hey, by the way, I have George Takei Jr. here. Uh, say hello, George. Warp Factor 2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, All those beeps and squeaks. And yeah. who is that? That is your long-lost brother. My yeah. long-lost brother. You Remember know, in the next me? Star Trek movie, uh, Star Trek Generations, <laughs> about yeah. the next generation, they've got yes. my daughter uh, working on the helm. You know what you have a deep I didn't daughter. know about her. <laughs> yeah. Someone just told me. I'm sick of rice. <laughs> yes. Hey, George. George, you know, it's funny. So you're I'm, not in the new movie. No, I'm not. My daughter is. Oh. Hey, George. <laughs> yes. Yes. Stop it, because I'll never get through this interview. <laughs> no, I'm A.C. to K. A.C. All right, take it easy. <laughs> O.J. <laughs> All right, stop it. Obviously, somebody with no sense of humor over there. <laughs> George. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm trying to follow in your footsteps, Howard. You know, I got to ask you a question first. I know because you wrote right. a book. Do you, uh, do you now, now you enunciate in real life? I mean, you are the most enunciating guy I know. You enunciate <laughs> like you say Howard. Uh, Howard. Yeah. Duh. You are really into enunciating every word. As a kid, did you do that? <laughs> yeah, but but uh, on Star Trek, you never did that. No, because I'm acting. Oh, I'm uh, I'm, oh. I'm I'm not being me. I'm being Sulu. <laughs> no, but I mean, you know, Sulu. I mean, it's it's unusual. I mean, you catch me by surprise when I hear you in real life because I'm shocked. I thought you were beyond surprise. <laughs> Haven't you lived and been exposed to everything that's possible? Yes. I, well, I'm the one that's shocking you, am I? I'm writing a play. Oh, I'm delighted to it's hear that. Shatner trying to act his way out of a paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. Now, George. son, behave. George, behave. what I love about You're your new book... You're on Howard Stern, and I want you behaving, son. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, George, you know what yes. I love about your new book? I like... I, you know what I love about your new book? Yes, what? I, <laughs> I love the fact that you... <laughs> that you take on this William Shatner. I finally. love it. Finally. I mean, it took you long enough. I am so glad that you came forward. You were the first one to be honest and say, that son of a bitch. Well, Only thought of himself. others have said that. They've never printed that. <laughs> right. I guess I'm the first one to print that. Uh, but, uh, you know, I recognize him for what he is. I mean, he's a very talented actor. And no, he no, is. Not a, be honest. Well, you know, he's got his... Uh, well, uh, uh, some of the things that he did on Star Trek are really remarkable. You have to like give what? the man credit for, for that. What I, did I, he do? Name one thing that was remarkable. Well, in what, the, he made love to a tribble? Uh, well, I'm, in the book, I talk about a couple of scenes where he was very impressive. You know, But the thing is, you have to look at the whole man, and we've spent 
almost 30 years with him. He was yeah, a rat we're, fink. We're tired of looking at him. Right? Yes, 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 we share that with you. And yes. I <laughs> wrote about it. Wow, you really came out and you said it finally. Because most people in we Hollywood... We tried to get you to say it before. We, didn't we try to get you to say it? Uh, no, you wanted to know about uh, Uhura. Yes. Oh, we did? Oh, uh, Howard is very obsessed with Uhura. Shatner had sex with Uhura, didn't he? <laughs> oh, no. He didn't? No. Shatner? No, they kissed. Oh, they kissed. They had the kiss that reverberated through the American South. So when you sit there and talk about uh, Shatner, the reason you hate him is because he was ungracious. He was not gracious as an actor. He didn't allow you to uh, be in certain scenes. He, was, uh, he wouldn't talk to you at certain points on the set, right? Well, no, the thing about Bill... It's, I it's knew he was a skunk. He, he's got this charm yes. that he thinks is going to cover up all the other things that he does to people. Oh, so he's nice to you while he's cutting your throat. He's got that smile and that wit, and, you know, at first... Uh, you know, everybody gets uh, taken in by that. But over the years, you, say, you, you know, you see, the, uh, see through the man. And frankly, I see him as a rather sad kind of guy, you know, who never really outgrew that uh, beginning actor's syndrome of right. uh, cutting lines and uh, doing everything he can to bring attention to himself. You know, we, 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 we mature as actors after a while. And you, we, we learn... I love how you say mature. 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 <laughs> Wait, your son wants to say mature. Go ahead. Mature. Go ahead, boy. Mature. <laughs> oh, no, but you've got to do it a little bit more crisply than that. A little bit mature. more crispy than that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and, and because you were an Asian actor, did he expect you to serve him and stuff oh. on the set? Oh, no, no, no. There, there was nothing, nothing like that. That, I kissed know, Shatner. It was just, uh, uh, Bill was very democratic about it. Right. He treated everybody everyone the same. He treated everyone badly. Badly. Ooh, I love when people talk about other people. I love that. That's their comeuppance. I bet you he's fuming. Oh, if he could get his Have hand around. I've not heard from him yet. I'm mm. looking forward to it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Imagine you run into him at a party. Will you do, will you do karate on him? Uh, oh, no, If no, he attacks no. you? No, no, no. <laughs> no, Bill's Bill, you know, and we've... Uh, had a modus vivendi for all these years. Whatever that is. What is a modus vivendi? <laughs> modus vivendi? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, a new style that's getting very, very trendy. Really? <laughs> Do you ever carry those little Chinese stars on you and throw them at Bill Shatner? <laughs> yeah, hit him with Those your Chinese nunchucks. stars. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, well, you're you know, Chinese, black, right? Uh, wrought iron. Aren't you Chinese? No, I'm Japanese. Oh. Japanese American. No, oh, I see. Oh, you didn't read the beginning part of the Bible. Well, no, I, was stri I skipped right to the Shatner part. <laughs> ah. Then I'm going to go back and read the Japanese part. Well, it's actually a Japanese American story I tell about at the beginning of the story. You and know, you I understand all those little pictures that everyone writes in the little little pictures. Do you write in those pictures? You write, write little in pictures? those pictures. Yeah, you ever see like a Japanese write those little pictures and they call them? Oh, you mean the <coughs> the, <coughs> the character writing? Yeah. Yes, character writing. Do you do any of that? Uh, well, you know, as a kid, I was sent to a Japanese language school on Saturdays, which I hated. Do you know martial arts? I know some martial arts. Oh, yes. really? Did so you if Shatner see that on Star Trek? Yes. What do you think will happen if you run into Shatner at a party, one of those fancy Hollywood parties? Let's say you just happen to Bill go somewhere. Bill would, you know, if there are a lot of other people, and particularly the press around, he would come up to me and embrace me and say, Georgie. How have you been? Oh, really? Oh, you look wonderful. <laughs> and what will but you it's do? It's all a performance. And will you pull his wig off <laughs> and embarrass him? <laughs> will you pull it right off? Well, you know, it's um, a very expensive piece. <laughs> Doesn't he have different wigs for different shows? Well, uh, you might have noticed that uh, as he matures. Yes. His hair, his hair gets, gets younger. Darker. Yeah, and, and he gets lusher, more full. Yeah. And yeah. more uh, like a buffalo. <laughs> what is that, George his Jr.? Suit. Like a buffalo. <laughs> like a buffalo. <laughs> oh, I see. Cuz I noticed on uh, on one of the, on, when he played the cop yes he had hooker. a yeah hooker hooker, hooker like had one word. piece hooker. hooker had a hair piece. you know you when i walk down the what? street you know people uh, recognize me and they say hey sulu Judge but Ito. when uh, bill walks down the street particularly down sunset boulevard <laughs> right they call his uh, police character's name and he turns around together with a three uh, with about three or four other ladies <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i thought you'd get a kick out of that <laughs> so so you, you it's, cheap. it's cheap it's cheap 
What? If you look at the early TV show, mm -hmm. William Shatner has almost no hair. Yeah. Right. That's right. If you and look then, at the early pre-Star uh, right. Trek shows. And right. then you look at T.J. Hooker, he got very curly hair. Yeah, he went to a curly look, yes. kind of a mod look. And, and have you has... seen him in Star Trek VI? <laughs> wow. I What's mean, that? it's deep brow oh. is that a, and lush. Is that, a, <laughs> is that a triple on his head? <laughs> I don't think a triple was ever that lush. <laughs> Captain Chia Pet. <laughs> he's like, you know what? Son, they, behave. I heard he's going to be in a remake of Rapunzel, William Shatner. <laughs> Rapunzel. <laughs> Rapunzel. I, no, because uh, if I recall, uh, they climbed up Rapunzel's hair, right? Well, yeah. That's the I don't think that's possible with uh, <laughs> William Shatner. There's a big letdown. In this <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yes, it would be a crashing fall. It'd be like. <laughs> So, so, uh, and the book deals with many of the moments. Do you, do you trash anyone else in the book? No, I, well, actually, I trash uh, Earl Warren. Do you know who that is? The Chief Justice of the United States. That's right. How did he get into your book? He was um, Attorney General of California uh, when uh, the Second World War broke out. And he was one of those people that spearheaded the effort to uh, get us all behind barbed wire. Were you behind barbed wire? I grew up, uh, my boyhood was spent behind barbed wire with uh, guard towers right here in America. Oh, you're still uptight about that? No. Well, uh, you know, I was a child more. then. Hey, come and on, what did you expect my, us my to do? We were at war with Japan. We didn't know who was the enemy. Yeah, sure, but sure, we, were, we, we weren't Japanese. We were Americans. Well, now you're saying you're That's American. Now, that... now you're all of a sudden American. War well, breaks out. I uh. mean, uh, we had German Americans. We I got news for you. I still don't trust you. I still don't trust you. We were war with Italy. Well, That's we don't true. trust you either, Howard, but we don't put you behind barbed wires, do we? <laughs> Maybe you should. I think so. <laughs> no, you, no, you know what I'm saying. We were at war with the Japanese. But we do gotta... you understand what he's saying? We yes, were but we were Germany. Americans. See, that's the difference. No. And the People Germans couldn't tell Germans. that distinction between American citizens. Yeah. So what are we supposed to do? And we still can't. Well, you know and that? the other thing is... It was easy to identify you. We're a country <laughs> of due process. When you yeah. are arrested, Howard, you're going to demand to know why you're arrested, and then you're going to demand I... a trial. Yeah. Yes. We had no, no, no charges, no, no. See, no trial. Hey, tell it they to OJ. Just Don't tell it to down me. down on us with right. guns and carted us off. Uh, uh, you we were trying to send you to camp. Yeah, George, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta think of it as a fun place, not as a bad place. It was, it was comfortable. It was nice food. Read the book, and you'll see that I thought it was. I was too young to really understand it, and yeah. for me, it was fun. Yeah, yeah. you get but to meet other that's Japanese. That's not the true picture. I see. Well, let me tell you something. It sounds like a very in-depth book. Did you get it any is. money? It is indeed. And did, I take uh, did you get Earl reparations? Warren to task as much as I take uh, Bill Shatner. Who has a worse toupee, Earl Warren or Bill Shatner? <laughs> well, Earl Warren had a very lush white hair. Yes. Uh, head of hair. <laughs> and I suspect that uh, his probably was. So you liked the Japanese camp. So did you get any reparations? Uh, we got it in 1988. How much My did you get? My father in our family was the one that uh, suffered the most, and he had passed on by, uh, by that time. He passed on in 79, mm. so it was a very tardy uh, restitution. <laughs> but how much did you get? Yeah, how much did you get? Uh, we got twenty thousand oh, dollars. well, that's worth it. You went to camp, and you had to, and, and listen, the well, camp it was nice, you, it was safe. There were no know black what I people, did with right? My twenty thousand dollars. What'd you do? I gave it to the Japanese American National Museum because that's what'd you what you do I that for. It, uh, it, uh, Should have sent it over here. To who? You? Yes, of course. What would you have done we with We suffer, that? too. Yeah, we suffer every day. You're getting up at four in the morning. <laughs> oh, well, I get up with you. Here <laughs> I am. So, George. Yes. So, you went to camp as a kid. Yes. And that was fun. For me, it was. I was, you remember, four years old. Right. And then uh, you uh, went ahead and you beat the odds and you became a, a great actor. You got on well, Star I don't Trek. Know about the adjective, but yes, I became an actor. All right, you became an actor. And then... You got on finally a TV show. It was very hard for Japanese Americans to get on TV. That's mm -hmm. right. And look, since you, there's hardly been any. Did you audition for Kung Fu? Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be coming at you again in a uh, as in a guest uh, role in Kung Fu with David Carradine. Is that Excellent. Right? Yeah, that's... just did one uh, about uh, four weeks ago. Do you throw those little Chinese stars? Uh, no. As a matter of fact, I play uh, <laughs> the colonel of the Chinese uh, army that uh, stopped that. Uh, tank that uh, uh, that uh, lone man uh, stood up to in uh, Tiananmen Square. Mm. My character gave the order for, uh, to that uh, ta uh, tank driver to stop. Oh, so your character is brave. Who knows about the real man, George <laughs> Takei? Well, I'm an actor. I'm so, a coward. 
And what about, um, is there a Bonanza remake with you as Hopsing in the works? <laughs> Someone told me about that. There's a rumor of that? <laughs> well, I haven't heard that one yet. Uh, no, and I don't think I'd take that role. Wait a second, your son wants Worry to say not. something. Worry not. Yes, he's in a new cop show. Oh, Who is? Sulu. TJ Sulu. TJ Sulu. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard in the new Bonanza you are Hopsing and Oprah plays Haas. Oh. <laughs> Oprah plays Hops. And who Hoss. plays uh, Pa? Pa? Edgar. Edgar, uh, Joan Rivers' ex-husband. Uh, you know, I think you should play Hoss. <laughs> who, Edgar? No, you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Where are you, you son of a bitch? What are you on a satellite for? I wish you were here. I'd get my hands on you. Uh, we'd have some real fun. Well, you know, you, you, you seem to have an obsession for people's hair. I need to take a tricorder reading of your hair. <laughs> of whose hair? <laughs> my hair. Yes, I would be very interested to see those readings. Anyway, <laughs> he's unbelievable, isn't he? I love that voice. Love Every that. word is perfectly pronounced. So are you finished with Star Trek? Oh, I think so after this uh, book. Oh, oh I think no, so. as a matter of fact, Simon & Schuster has picked up the cue on that. I'm doing a series of uh, Captain Sulu adventures on... Audio cassette, oh. audio drama. No, what I'm saying is you can't be on the set anymore with William Shatner. I mean, Star Trek is over for you. Why not? He's we've not going to allow we've you. We've been working like this together for uh, almost 30 years Yeah, but now. now you made it public. Well, yes, and uh, <laughs> yeah. others have uh, been even more vocal on the set than I have. Really? Does Who Leonard... else doesn't like him? Yeah, oh, Leonard Nimoy. Jimmy Doohan goes ballistics. Does Leonard Nimoy hate uh, William Shatner? Leonard is a gentleman, which I obviously am not. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and what about Uhura? Does she hate uh, Shatner? Oh, she's uh, going to be quite public on it uh, pretty soon. Oh, really? Yeah, she's you also wait. writing. A couple Boy, of months. Everyone's couple of months writing a book on how much they hate Shatner. <laughs> it's great. But you're saying Scotty really hates uh, William Shatner. Oh, yeah. He was angry for a reason. <laughs> oh, he was. He would rave on. Really? Oh. What that would he do? bastard. I'll <laughs> never let him do that to me again. That bastard. You mean he would actually take away scenes from you guys? Uh, oh, what do you mean, take away? I mean, he's, uh, the word is steel. Wow, unbelievable. What is it, Baba Bohai? There's a woman on the phone, very angry with George Takai. Why? He's just jealous of William Shatner. Uh-oh, George, George, you put her in, your, in her place. Now, come on, let's get her on here, and let's see what she has now, to say. Now, is it Takai right. or Takai? It's Takai. Okay. It's Takai. But, you know, you, if you know, know what the word Takai means, uh, I'd be happy to accommodate you. Takai <laughs> translates into English as expensive. Oh. So I'd be happy what? to introduce you to my uh, agent if you want to call me Takai. But I am Takai, which doesn't mean cheap either. Ma'am, what is your problem with George Takai? He is just jealous of William Shatner. Everybody loves William Shatner. No one is going to buy that book. Oh, everyone is going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. Who is this? Howard? Yeah, now, you talk to George. Tell her off. Howard. Howard, I bought your You just your hate book. Japanese people. That's your racist. Howard, I bought your book, but I'm not going to buy his book. You better buy it. I've had a crush on William Shatner since I'm seven years old. Oh, you like guys really? with bad toupees? That's right, I do. And nobody, hey, George, tell her off. No one's going to buy your book. Where's George? Oh, no, that's person. all right. You know, this is a democracy, George? and if she wants uh, sight unseen yes. to love somebody, that's you're all right. But, you know, we've been with him for 30 years, and uh, she's... And William Shatner has gone on to have a wonderful career, and you're jealous. Okay, that's fine. And everybody's going to think that way, and your book is not going to sell. Oh, no, you won't buy it. And a lot of people But there are a lot of people that are going to be buying it. Now, there are a lot of William Shatner fans who will not buy your book. Well, that's fine, too, because uh, they're entitled. And you're looking, that's what and you're America is all look about. Very bad. You look very bad. You look like a bitter person. Oh, my. <laughs> well, you do. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> he doesn't seem to care, lady. Thank you. No. All right. Thank you for the call. Bye. Stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> lady, my father has more talent in his chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, obviously a racist on the phone. Bob used to have a cardboard Shatner and urinate on it. Oh, oh dear. That's behave, George Takei's... son. Behave. You're on the air. That's George Takei's son. Tell her to go commit Harry Keary. <laughs> so, George, I believe a lot of people will buy the book, despite what that woman said. Controversy well, always works. Everybody always wants to know what went on behind the scenes of Star Trek. Yes. But, you know, that's only about a half of the book. The other part is uh, my... Um, uh, beginning part, and, and it's not just about the internment camp, but uh, our return, which is another, you know, untold story uh -huh. of uh, the Japanese returning uh, to uh, their homes on the West Coast or elsewhere. Now, well, had you lost all your businesses and everything at that point? We had to leave, and you know there was. Wow, uh, that's no big deal. Just I so tell much. you, this country. It's not that bad. <laughs> they got twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> hey, anyway, George. Yes. 
I'm glad you survived all of that, and I'm glad that uh, you came on our show today to trash William Shatner. I, that. <laughs> I, I can't stand the guy myself. Well, I enjoyed chatting with you. You, you always have a lively discussion on the air. And that's what I love about you. My well, friend, my, my, <laughs> my deep-voiced, enunciating friend. <laughs> Farewell, my friend. Thank you very much. The great George Takei. Live long and prosper. Live, Live long, long and, and prosper, prosper, my friend. And uh, remember, uh, Stitch in Time saves nine. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right. Bye -bye. Good talking with you. Good talking with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Later. <laughs> Thank you. The great George Takei. <laughs> There he goes. You weren't quite crisp enough. He said I tea. didn't enunciate. <laughs> Captain. Yes. <laughs> to the stars. <laughs> Dude, there's uh, George's son, George yeah, Takei Jr. Son is still with I would love to give Shatner a vasectomy with a samurai sword. Duh. <laughs> 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 when I talk, my balls rattle. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they do. Rattle. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that was so funny when he said he didn't enunciate a Sulu because that's what he's acting. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing now? I heard they land the Enterprise on Bill's head. <laughs> he was pretty angry at William oh, Shatner. Yeah. Not a lot of nice things to say. No, not very gracious. Pretty wild. Imagine him snoring, oh. George Takei. Rattle the house. Yeah, the roof would come off. <laughs> Beam me up some sake, Scotty, and two geishas. What a voice, huh? Doesn't it get, like, it gets intense after a while? Warp Factor 2. I don't know how you could sit around talking to him. No, it's very Having difficult. Having a serious conversation? I know. <laughs> Warp Factor 2. 2. Okay. <laughs> we'll all enunciate. Uh, you're not crisp enough. <laughs> crisp. <laughs> crisp enunciation. <laughs> nah. It would take a Japanese guy to, you know, like, be the best at the language. <laughs> Our language. Yeah. Uh, it was in the internment uh, camp. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> George Jr., why don't you lead us into commercial? We'll be back after this. Uh. Now we're back with William Shatner. He's been a good sport to sit through 17 hours of commercials. And he's here, and uh, he has written a book. He's very proud of it. Now, this is a Star Trek book. This is not Well, Tech it's Wars. a Star Trek novel, mm -hmm. uh, fiction. Uh, well, what do you have to do to get the rights to write one of these books? Do you have to, like... Uh, yeah, well, uh, the Simon & Schuster asked me to write it. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, the, it's uh, one of three. Uh, there's a trilogy being uh, fashioned, and... Uh, you writing all three? Yeah. Well, what I, do you do all day? You write all day? I mean, I'm, what's going on? I'm in the middle of a of a wow. uh, fervent... Uh, How long does uh, it take creative? you to knock out a book like this? Well, that took three, four months. I'm working with Gar and Judy Reese Stevens. Yeah. Uh, last week we sat down, uh, had a two-hour lunch, and I had a, I had a good idea of what the uh, third novel will be because the, the second novel's already fleshed out, and we're <laughs> writing that. And the third novel in about two hours, I laid the cornerstones, cornerstones for it. And uh, no it, kidding. That kind of thing takes place between us. That uh, you're prolific, energy. aren't you? Look at you. And not only that, I'm creative. You're so damn proud of yourself. I don't blame you. Look at that. It's called, uh, it's it's a real book. Look at that. Ashes of Eden. And it's an original story by William Shatner. And mm -hmm. Captain Kirk gets older. And is Nimoy in it? Uh, uh, everybody's Spock? in it. Spock uh, has to a, be there, of course. Yeah. Unique... You didn't write anybody out because of the things they've been saying. No, about you. Did no, you write no. out that Chinaman? What's his name? <laughs> what the hell's that guy's name? The one who was bad mouthing William on the, Shatner. On the contrary, we love really? him. Really? George Takai? George Takai. <laughs> Captain. Uh, <laughs> right, Mr. Takai? George Takai. Right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Captain. Well, Mr. we Sulu. hold them in our arms. What was your George. problem with William Shatner again? I forget. Oh, how are you, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> no, are you the nice Bill Shatner who knows me, or the one who won't talk to me? Oh, very good. That, but That's the point really is, you, you didn't want to write out Sulu. Sulu has not been complimentary to you. We had that out on the. Uh, the the guys are terrific. You would They're have out. them all. You don't care. 
you don't hold a grudge. Oh, right? yes, he's so busy with his books and his movies. And, and what are you doing? You're talking about and Japanese. Rescue 911. Why don't you rescue my career? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. yeah. Yes, George. Well, why don't you mellow out over there? Okay. Bill, you couldn't write a fortune cookie. <laughs> You're so jealous of William Shatner, oh, aren't I you? I am not. You no. are jealous. No. All right. I'm now. going no. to get Mr. Scott to beam your assets to my house in California. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Right. Good. All right. Very good. Now, he's not, he, Lieutenant Uhura is still in there. Everybody's in All there. Right. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> in, uh, interacts and in a different fashion. is a sensual, erotic novel. It is. Quite oh, yeah. They're all making love on the set. Oh, no, everybody's. Uh, can you get well, some of that uh, alien uh, vag? <laughs> What's that? I mean, really, what do you get? I mean, do you get some of that? Well, no, no, we can see that. that. Is this <laughs> R-rated? Would you say this is R-rated? Uh, it's not R-rated, but it certainly isn't There are sex scenes. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you always were a horny bastard. Who does Mr. Spock get? Who does Mr. Spock get? Mr. Spock gets Captain Kirk. Well, no. That's a book i got to read. Is that right? The two of you finally get it on. That was number three. You two are obviously in love. Yeah. It's a bestseller for a variety of reasons. Mr. Sulu, you, of course, are by yourself. Yeah. Right. Okay. So Put the tissues down, Mr. Sulu. Right. Yeah, Mr. Sulu. Oh, my. Now, you get, obviously, you are a man who cannot walk down the street because you know how rabid these fans are, these Star Trek fans. Pretty they love you. They love rabid, you. They really good. do. I mean, it's unbelievable, is it not? Yeah, it's good. I'll tell you how unbelievable it is. Ralph, who is the makeup artist oh, on the show, mess, yes. says, could I take a picture with William Shatner? And I said, no. I said, look, you, I don't. if I have guests who come here who got to sit and put up with Ralph, he says, oh, please, it's my dream It'll to get a picture keep people away. With William Shatner, because he watches Star Trek like a mental patient. And he I mean, has over all over that again. stuff. You know, he has one I, I of those gotta, I uh, transporters and yeah. all that Are stuff. Are you serious? Oh, he's really Is that how he puts on the makeup? <laughs> yeah, he actually carries one of those stupid transporters. But, you know, what do you call it? One of the but, communication but, devices. But on his, it Look works, at him. Right? Look at him. Look at him. He <laughs> wants to take a picture. This is what you spoke at. With the shades on. He looks like an alien, doesn't he? What happened is he saw a ghost and his hair went gray. <laughs> what is it? I, I said what, what, I'm sorry. What was that? I said a picture. I asked him if he could sign something. You know. Yeah. Well, like don't that. bug the guy. All right. You're it's a pain not, in the ass. Not, no, you're not. Yeah. No. You're not going to have anything signed. He's your signed. boss. I understand, and I'm just a guest. But for the moment, you're not a pain in the ass. You look like a Klingon. Get out of here. <laughs> look at you. I also like Tech War. Good. Yeah. He's. You know. He, Ralph calls me the other night. He goes, "Quick, tape Tech War. Tape it. It's a good one. It's a really good one. <laughs> Which was the one you wanted me to tape? Um, what was going on? What was it? His his partner got killed. Greg Evigan. Uh, yeah. His partner got shot. Yeah. You weren't in that one, but uh, yeah, it was yeah. it was good. Yeah. And what was so good about it? Because it had all that high tech yeah, gear, right? Yeah. They, they 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 really it, it had a, some heart. Yeah, and it, it it's also it's a good view of the future. It's like you can believe it. There's a tech war CD-ROM game coming out in Christmas time, and you'll yeah, Ralph. You'll, you can you buy me a Ralph. computer? I don't have one. Yeah, I'll right. buy you a computer. Yeah, maybe he'll adopt you. You, you know, he is case. a pain in the ass, isn't he? <laughs> Look at him, he just dyed his hair, and uh, he used to be brown, you know, he used to be like a normal color. He looks great. He, he looks, looks great. He looks like an alien. He looks like a Klingon. We can use you somewhere. You're, you're used to aliens. Tell Mr. Shatner how you let uh, priests rape you. <laughs> Go ahead. This guy was raped by a priest. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. on to new heights. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I wasn't raped. I, I was, yeah, did you spend the night with a priest I or gave, not? I was gave proposition. He gave his consent. No, I'm not kidding. He was being counseled when he was young. He had no father or something. Uh -huh. His father ran out, and you can see why. Well, he was useless, but right. Right. Was, yeah. Yeah, right. And then, uh, well, his father didn't run out. They kicked him out. I don't know what the story was. So he goes to the priest, and next thing you know, the priest is showing him dirty pictures, and he gets naked in front of the priest. Why did he get naked? You were too. You undressed in front of him. You know, it sounds like the ashes of Eden. <laughs> Is that right? All right, get out of here, please. Not in front of Mr. Shatner. That's your problem. But when you get an autograph, right. Ralph, get two, please. Yeah. Oh, you want one also? I have somebody soliciting me to uh, get no, an autograph. No, no, no autographs. Yeah, not for an autograph, No autographs. Robin. So listen to me. <laughs> Tell me the kind of life you have. Just, just fill me in real quick, because uh, this is Look, what I'm interested I, in. Tell I, me what's going on. All right. I flew in to, uh, to New York. No, from, no, no. no uh, just skip that. Kentucky. Skip the nonsense. Uh, the nonsense. You're completely. Yeah, you don't want to hear about the horses. No, no. You, 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 you don't want to hear about the you. CD-ROM. You're game. not into horses, are you? Yeah. Uh, with, oh look no. At Christopher you're not Reed. riding them. For oh, God's sake. I'm, I'm, uh, you ride horses? I'm competing right now. Are you and in steeplechase? Uh, no, no. Oh. It, it kind of a dressage. You wouldn't. Uh, are you crazy? And, and oh uh, no. You want to end up in the hospital? Listen. Do you understand not, that a horse is an do animal? You understand? No. That if you have fear, you got an old. You saying Chris Reeve has fear? Chris Reeve had no, fear. No, he didn't have he fear. He had he fear. fear. You think that's what did him he in? He had fear. He said because it's, he said before he had the accident, mm -hmm. it's the most dangerous thing I do. Right. It isn't really. But he was jumping. Yes. And he was learning how to jump. Oh, he was just a, a he, beginner. He, yeah, he was really uh, oh. a, a fairly uh, uh, new, not at new at it. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, and he Is that a, correct? 
I thought that this guy well, had been doing it his whole life. No, no. Competition if he was so new. Well, because at a certain point you've got to go for it. Really? And that's and that's and this novel is about getting old. Yeah. And not wanting to get old. Right. If you it's have in your fear, head. it's right. in your head. You've got to ca cast out the fear and the doubt. So in other words, when I'm riding my bike. And my ankle hurts. Ignore it. Ignore it. Right. Uh, deny <laughs> everything. Right. Deny it. Deny. Well, like O.J. Okay, Simpson or anything. Just deny. <laughs> go into denial. Deny. Go into denial. Now, let me ask you this. I'm afraid of Fred, that guy over there who I work with. Don't be afraid Don't of Fred. Don't be afraid. Just, just uh, deal with it. If you're afraid of Fred, you're old. All right, but, but this is a good point. You're saying Fred, is that, that what you're saying? So you're into, this ho you're into this ridiculous horse thing. No, no. Not ridiculous. Dress up. Horses. You realize that a horse has a thin little <laughs> ankle. It, it, you you yes. start jumping and moving around with yes. it. It can revolt. Yeah, revolt. It will revolt. It could revolt. Right. And what it, do you do when it revolts? You get off. Do you wear, do you wear a helmet? to leave the revolution. Do you wear a helmet? Uh, no, I don't. You don't? No. And But Christopher Reeves did. Yes. And it, so you say the helmet did it? What do you, what are you say? What was the good? Yeah, right. What good will it do you? Uh, it, it, but it was a freak accident in Christmas. Uh, and you wear the whole outfit with the the, the, the big boots and the... Well, you got to... Uh, i got to see that. Well, I've got film. No film kidding. Film at 11. It, it, but I'm in competition t t t this, this evening. And you're not well, afraid at all. You're basically showing off the horse. Uh, that's exactly right. All right. He's the not horse, jumping. No. Although I have jumped. You have? And Wait a second. my trainer said, stop jumping. Mm -hmm. because After you, Chris Marie. You, no. No. Because you could get hurt. I was doing four feet. Chris was doing two and a half, three, three and a half feet. baby jumps. It's it's easier. It's hunter hack, it's called. Yeah. And it should be for form, not, not height. Not for, right. Mm -hmm. And he had uh, something terrible. The nightmare of all people with horses. Happen to him. So when you do it now, you in the back of your mind, you're not thinking about Christopher Reeves? I get on and I think of Christopher he Reeves and I jump have to. Up. Are you saying the captain have... of the Star Trek is stronger than Superman himself? Wow. In a way? That's an interesting I question. Because you had to use your mind yeah, and he only used brute strength. No, 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 But no. that was always well, the beauty of, all, of Captain Kirk. He, he always thought. He almost got Sandy to make out with me. <laughs> if you had done that, you would have been the greatest captain of all. <laughs> if you had gone with it, she would have done it. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Being, Blame it on me. She was being moved. <laughs> right. <laughs> By extension, you. Yeah, right? I'd yeah. like to hang out with you. <laughs> so wait a second. So you're doing this uh, horse thing. and horse thing, Forget the horse thing. Games, Is that where you meet the girls? Man of War. Do you meet the girls at the horse thing? A lot of girls. Have you dated horse girls? No, you can't. You never know what those girls are going to do. Are they hot, these horse well, girls they, they're they gonna like be rich to and yeah. they've got a, a crop and they got tight asses uh, well uh, let me ask you a question yeah. all right and now you're free and clear right the divorce free is over everything's messy clear. divorce yeah, money messy. right out the window terrible terrible what thing. happened did you give up 50 percent you yeah. gave up 50 percent right uh, yeah this is a oh, 50 Jesus. Well, wait hold it stop i got there's gotta be a moment of silence i'm gonna that. guess you're worth you're conservatively wrong. nah you haven't got it. Forty to fifty million dollars, and you gave away twenty-five don't million. Don't be ridiculous. You gave away twenty-five million dollars of assets. Don't be ridiculous. No way. Uh, no. We got an offshore account. <laughs> smart. Oh, I, well, I have to swim. stockpile, well, aren't you? Swim to my offshore. You are smart. <laughs> a lot of guys are doing that. Get the offshore nah, account. Your wife listen, can't you, get those you pay assets. You the taxes. You do it, everything right. You have nothing to worry. about. No, you're a smart guy. You probably had a uh, prenup, right? Uh, you do everything right, and you have nothing to worry about. Right. I gotta you know what happened. Wrong. You know why he's writing three if of I these books? I knew what happened, it wouldn't have happened. You know why he's writing three of these uh, uh, Ashes of Eden books? Why? Because to uh, make up for what he lost. Uh, of course, he's uh, got he's got to give up a third. The Ashes of Eden is a great novel. Is it great? It's for me. I like to see a, a new Star a Trek. I would like to read a Star you Trek. Read book. that novel; you'll enjoy it. Yeah, I'll read it. You, yeah. I'll read it. Yeah, because I was kind of broken up the last movie Captain Kirk died. Well, this. Trilogy of novels uh, suggests other avenues, uh -huh. other possibilities. Oh, really? Yeah. To so, me, time is a continuum. Well, it super. folded back on itself. Did it fold back on itself? Where? Let's ask Sandy. <laughs> yeah. Where's Sandy when you need a time question? She's a very smart girl. So let me get this straight now. Yeah. What is? Forget the horse. Yeah. I'm sure that's fun and everything, yeah. but the dating must be incredible. How? how what do you do? Do you, do you ever walk into difficult. a bar? No, it's, hold it a second. Do you ever walk into a bar? Yeah, not a bar. Not like a low class bar. A restaurant. And the ladies just come up to you and go, oh, Bill. But you don't know what's happening. Uh, uh, suspicion and... You think uh, they want you for your money. You never know. Yeah, but what do you care? Well, you do. As long as you get them. You're not marrying Getting. these girls. You're just having dinner. Yeah, you're not gonna, you would never get married again, <laughs> would you? <laughs> would you ever get married again? No. Uh, I, it's, it's, it's very difficult to conceive. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, it's right enough. about now. <laughs> yeah, you've been through the ringer. <laughs> I'm still bleeding. <laughs> you know what? The next book you write, when you yeah. make the sequel to this book, because yeah. this will be a hit, of course. It's called The Fires of Olympus. Yeah, never mind that. In that book. What do you mean, never mind that? Listen to me. The, book. The, the captain. Fires of Olympus can I give you a book. plot? The captain beams his ex-wife to Pluto. <laughs>
<laughs> Gets rid of her. No alimony, Too nothing. Late. It's clean. Too late. This That's is it. <laughs> you got to beam them to Pluto before they become. All right, when you date, when you date. Give me an age range. 17 to 35? Is that oh, fair yes. for the girls? 17, uh, 17 to 35? I'm 32, you don't... Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Takai. Mm. Yes. 17 is a little, is a little shady. You would never date a 17-year-old? Oh, that's, that's a little risky. Let's say she was really mature. She was hot. And she, really you know, mature. I mean, what her happens, parents gave her okay. You, if you said, let's go to Jersey, is that across the state line? Yeah. yeah well, that's, uh, no, but what, these are young girls, right? These, these are, these are, these are very difficult times. <laughs> Super. Yeah. Yes. What is that, uh, yes. Sulu? Who are you, Daddy? Photon torpedoes. Yeah. <laughs> See, you, now you like the captain. If his, if his wiener could talk, it would write five trilogies. <laughs> Let me tell you I'm something. I'm trying to get the thought from there to there. You know, you know Sulu, you blame, All you these, blame, yeah. Sulu, you blame Mr. Sh Shatner, yes, because I you do. never were created more as a character. They never brought your character out. But you were just the guy who worked the spaceship. He but was a good yeah, But I, I don't him. understand why everyone idolizes him. I'd rather have Ebola virus <laughs> than work with you again. <laughs> no, wait a minute, no. The funniest Ooh. thing about the yes. George yes. Duhay <laughs> argument yes. was that he didn't get his own ship. Yeah, he wanted his own ship. <laughs> yeah, Bill Shatner, Shatner kept it from his own. <laughs> do you still hold that against Mr. Shatner? He's very small in the pants and it frustrates him. <laughs> Well, you, you don't know anything about it's, it. It's the tight costume. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my! So when a girl, when you get a girl in the sack, which probably doesn't take much energy because you could just get her in there because of who you are. You just lie there. And when you're <laughs> naked and stuff, I mean, do the girls like you know? Oh, just lie there. You just lie there. You don't have to really move around. You're the captain. Man, you must be having the time of <laughs> you your life. Sit back you're the captain. <laughs> right. It's time for you to mellow out. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right, my dear. You know. What a life. No. <laughs> You've had threesomes, right? Uh, to be honest, George, two girls and George, one guy. Me and yeah, uh, come on. And and Leonard. You've had it all. Uh, have you not? Have you experienced it all? I mean, someone of your fame does not uh, miss a trick. I I don't even know what threesomes are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you know what? I hope doesn't happen to him. What? I hope his wife is happily taken care of and will go on and won't join that group, ladies. Yeah. Do you know about that? Those uh, oh, life is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They go on TV and they bad mouth you. Oh, yeah. After yeah. divorce I, or I've something heard. like that. In fact, uh, in fact, I know somebody whose wife is. Uh, uh, we uh, both do. Yeah. 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 <laughs> who's that? Leonard Nimoy's. Wife. Oh yeah, right. Leonard Nimoy's wife's big in that. She lucky him. Guy got a divorce, gave her half his money, did the whole thing, and <laughs> now she goes oh, on TV. But she is devastated. But I'm the real Mrs. You, Nimoy. Let me tell you, yeah. Leonard, <laughs> Leonard is one of the great guys of of this world. Ask her. Maybe you shouldn't, but ask me. Right. I'm telling you. Uh, he's a good man. He's a great guy. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and he's happily married. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you he like is. Mr. Uh, Spock? Bill loves threesomes. The girl, him, and his big fat ego. <laughs> I've seen Bill with pigs that would scare Stevie Wonder. Oh, stop it. You are so oh, jealous. Yes. You are so I jealous of Mr. Shatner. You are. You are. You are. You feed off each other. You are so jealous of Mr. Shatner. Yeah. It's not even funny. Oh, my. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. Something wrong with you. All right. Yeah. But see, he's jealous, and why not? He should be jealous. I think he's jealous of you. Uh, evidently. <laughs> no, but he should be jealous. Obviously, you've had all the success. You get to write the Star Trek books. You get to direct the films, and you get to do Tech Wars and everything else. And you did that through hard work. No one can say you didn't. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, man. why not? I'll stick up for you. <laughs> you listen, I'm, I'm into it. The book is called Star Trek, The Ashes of Eden. And yeah. what this is, for any Star Trek fan, and I know there are many out there, this will uh, take you into new worlds, new adventures. You have the old crew back again. You've been waiting for this, obviously. Now's your chance to buy it in the stores. And then uh, this is part of a trilogy so that uh, you will eventually this is experience. Just the first of three. Yeah, you have some fun reading the book. It's going to be a lot Let's of fun. Let's ask Sandy what a trilogy is. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You ask her. <laughs> I want to thank you again for stopping in and visiting Our, with us. It was a pleasure as usual. You, you had fun. I really was. Oh, good. Okay, <laughs> good. Right. This is I didn't think you'd be back again. You never know. Most but people you know leave and never we come did back. Talk no, about, we no. were going to talk about what kind of a father he is. You admitted yeah. that you're career driven and you don't pay much attention so to So is William family. Shatner. We'll I do, would imagine he was. You don't get this kind of success without ignoring people. Is that true, Bill? Uh, were you really a good father? I was. You were? Uh, really? Oh, yeah. So your kids I've won't got, be on the psychiatrist's couch screaming three, about you? Three beautiful and uh, intelligent and talented daughters. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, so they dig in everything through everything. Yeah. And yeah, they good. know you. Right. <laughs> they do. Yeah, I'm going to get to know my kids very soon. All right. They're young. They don't, they're don't. they not interested. Well, then take advice from him. Put them in your movie. Yeah, sure. That'll be good. They that keep bugging me. That way you get to see them at work. My kids keep bugging me to be in a movie. <laughs> you know, they want to be like, well, why can't we be in the movie? Well, Are you? Do you have kids in the movie? Well, there'll be kids playing my kids. I don't want I my didn't kids. I know Howard, the kids Howard. were in the movie. No, let me tell you. Uh, on the 18th... Would you put your kids in a Star Trek movie? Listen to me. Go on ahead. the 18th Tech War, the last Tech War of this season, yeah. 
One daughter, Elizabeth, wrote it. Yeah. One daughter, Melanie, is acting in it. Oh, really? I've directed it and acted in it. And we had an epiphany. We had a moment between daughters and fa- uh, and father. My third daughter uh, was back at home and, and mm-hmm. wasn't in it. So you have three girls, week. too. How yeah. many yeah. three girls? I got they three all look like me. Oh, stop. <laughs> yeah, are you <laughs> saying you're the father of William Shatner's children? Aren't you going to tell them this? <laughs> Slowly I turn. <laughs> yeah, right. Adopt me, you bastard. Great... Adopt right. me. All right, take it easy. I had a great time. Ooh. You did. It was I'm good. The greatest and worth a lifetime of anything else. Right, so you can put. So in the early years, you can push them aside, and no. then oh. when you get older, the early years. I don't think that's what he said. Years, no, I'm saying exactly, I think that's what he's saying. Exactly I'm reading between the lines. Understood. Understood. Uh, uh, almost there, Howard. <laughs> I got the kids lined up at the shrinks office. No problem.